C language session one. Introduction to C language. C is a structure based programming language developed by Dennis Ritchie in the year 1972. The term structure based programming language has special meaning that we'll see at the end of this course. History of C. Before C, we have certain previous programming languages like Algol in the year 1960, CPL in the year 1963, and BCPL in the year 1967, and finally B in the year 1970. As you can see, there are certain remarks given to the previous programming languages, like for Algol, too, ab too general, too abstract, and for CPL, it's hard to learn, difficult to implement. So, the programming languages before C has certain remarks which for which the com programmers used to face certain difficulties while performing for a project. Because of all these remarks, Dennis Ritchie thought of introducing a new programming language which can overcome all these remarks and this happened in the year 1972 at AT&T Bell Laboratories. The characteristics of C language are structured, as I said, we'll be seeing structured at the end of this course because there is a separate chapter on structure. Next comes simple, portable, easy of understanding, flexible, robust, and efficient. It's simple when compared to the previous programming languages. Portability and easy of understanding, flexible, flexible means we can take up any uh, project solution by using C language which was not possible by the previous programming languages. Robust, very strong and efficient. Data types, like we need to accept some data when we are writing certain program and possible in three ways. Accepting of data which is integer when it is a case of only integers which comes from minus infinity to plus infinity with perfect integer values. Use the keyword INT when you type INT on the compiler you can see it has been highlighted whereas main is not highlighted. It shows certain difference between int and main. We call int as keyword that we will be seeing just within a moment. As of now we need to say int main or simply something. Likewise float float f1 and as well as character. These are the data types in which we will be placing our data like integer, float that is real numbers that is decimal values and characters like a, b, c or whatever it may be. Next comes secondary data types. Apart from the primary data types in C language we have secondary data types are user defined data types like array, pointer, structure, enum and unions. A token, a token, a smallest individual part of a program is called a token. When you combine certain smallest individual parts like for example variables, keywords, constants, operators, special symbols, strings, when you co combine all these kinds of tokens will be creating one single program variable. It is a name given to a memory location which holds certain quantity or a value that is changed during the program execution. In mathematical terms we say x is a variable that means x will hold certain value at the beginning and at the end it will hold some other value. So the value of x will keep on changing. This is why we call x as a variable. Types of variables we can take up are integer variables. If you want to create an integer variable, you need to say in this way. Use a data type which is int. Use a variable name, any value, valid variable name like bank, ACC or unit, bank account. Now I have created a variable with name bank account which takes only integers. Likewise, go for creating float variables like percentage percent and character in which we'll be taking up certain characters. Rules to construct a variable. A variable name is any combination of 1 to 26 alphabets, digits or underscores. Now I said this is a variable name. 
So what all can I use in this? I can use all the English alphabet, whether it may be lowercase or uppercase. It's valid. The first character is a variable name, must be an alphabet. The very first character of my variable name should be and must be a valid English alphabet. I cannot go for any specialized symbols or integers in this way. It's an invalid variable name. Similarly, this. No commas or blanks are allowed within a variable name. I cannot go for saying bank, comma, account. This is not single variable. This creates two independent variables. So, such kind of things are not valid in a variable name. No special symbol other than underscore can be used in a variable name. At the max, I can go for using an underscore at the beginning or an underscore in between or an underscore at the end. Apart from these specialized characters, I cannot go for any other alphabet or any other special symbol in, a, in creating a variable name constant. It is a name given to a memory location which holds certain constant or a value that does not change during the program execution. Constants like this is a constant. It will never change throughout this program. Types of constants are integer constants, float constants. This is an integer constant. This is a float constant. Likewise, character constants and string constants. When you say a equal to 10, here the constant 10 is being placed or stored into the variable a and mathematically we call this as equality symbol but in C language we call it as assignment operator. To explain it in detail, when you say integer a is a variable name of type integer and equal to or let me say the uh, assignment operator and 10. What does this mean is placing the constant 10 into the variable with name a. I cannot place 10.33 because this is an integer data type. It takes only integers. If you want to get 10.33, make a as float data type keyword. As you can see, there is difference between float and A. The difference is, you can see flow is bold in color, A is normal. The difference happens in this way as well. Float is already known to the compiler, whereas A is not known to the compiler because user has defined A for this particular program. Float has been defined by Dennis Rich. It's predefined. Likewise, we have many keywords which are auto, double, if, while, static, register, so many. You can see if you type a keyword, it will be highlighted in this way. Void, auto, char, float, int, whereas main is not a keyword. This shows the difference between keywords and normal words. Instructions in C language. Type declaration. When you say integer a variable, it is called as type declaration. You are declaring A to be certain type. The type is integer. Input output instructions. After declaring, we need to accept a value into A that is possible with scanf statement. This is input output instruction. To This is input and printf the output instruction. Arithmetic instructions after getting a value into A when you say A takes A plus A with this you are doing the arithmetic calculation. Consider if A takes 10 which is 10 plus 10 20 into A control instructions. This will be seeing when we enter into the topic called as if and else block. Structure of a C program. 
header files you need to begin here over with header file the very first thing should be a header file later on set of main say main braces open and close flap braces in that we'll be writing certain code for the required output header files are those files which contains the code of inbuilt or library functions like printf scanf and get ch these files have to be used on the top of the program examples are standard input output dot h which holds the meaning for printf and scanf conio dot h console input output dot h which holds the meaning for console clear screen and get ch predefined functions next comes math dot h which holds all mathematical predefined functions and string Uh, like certain predefined string functions and standard library dot h, which holds again few more header files. Variable declaration. To declare a variable, use the type first of all, and then the variable name. As I said, any valid names. Like for example, phi. Phi is a variable name. This creates one variable. and the semicolon is termed as full stop in c language now i want to create float price i want to create one more float variable go for using a comma and f2 f2 is the second float variable whereas price is the first float variable likewise you can create a number of variables according to your wish global variables the variables defined above main is called global variables these variables are accessible to all parts of the program we can even pre initialize global variables using the assignment operator like for example these are local variables because these have been defined in inside the main if i want to declare a global variable give the header file hash include stdio dot h and here I am supposed to say a. Now a is a global variable accessible to all parts of the program. One more integer b equal to ten. I am initializing b with ten, whereas I am declaring a to be integer. initialization and declaration in global the same happens if i say here it's declaration if i say this is initialization 